It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's County Public Schools where we test scientific literacy. How much do our science, do our students know about science? We invite you to play along and test your own science literacy today. Two great schools here today, two outstanding middle schools from Akakeek and Kenmore. Let's meet the players. First of all, joining us from Akakeek, all eighth graders, we welcome Marcus to the program. Marcus waved everybody at home. I know you got some fans out there. Rowan is our captain. He's been here before. Nice to have him back. And Lamont, say hi to everyone at home. Good luck to you gentlemen and the team from Kenmore Middle School, the team that has won more championships in our 37 years of competition than any other school. Let's meet them. First of all, Isabel, nice to have you here. Wave to everybody, please. She is a veteran of the program, as is Hannah, who is our captain. And one more vet, he's back again. It's good to have Stephen here. Hey, Steve. All right. Let's tell you about the categories of questions we use here on the Science Bowl. Here they are. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. The easier questions on the left worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. Never any penalties for incorrect answers. And yet to the two rounds today, at the end of the two rounds, the team that is ahead will win our game and come back to play again for the chance to move on to the middle school semifinals that are coming up in the very near future. Let's go over and make sure everything is working properly. Before we start, let's go to the Akakeek team. And Roan, would you try that buzzer? All right, it looks good, it sounds good. Good luck to the guys in yellow over there, Marcus, Rowan, and Lamont. And the green team, all in green. Hannah, try your buzzer. It too seems to be in fine working order. Good luck to you and to Isabel and to Stephen. Are you guys ready to play? All right. May the better team win. Here we go. Akakik, we go alphabetically A before K. So Rowan, let's play the bowl. Nice and loud. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points to start out is a multiple choice question. Zoologists who study who study herpeto fauna, H-E-R-P-E-T-O fauna, or herps for short would be most interested in which of the following creatures? Dragonflies, electric eels, or salamanders? Kenmore. What you got? Salamanders. Salamanders is right. Herpetologists are people who study reptiles and amphibians. A salamander is an amphibian. All right, you drew first blood there. Kenmore, go. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Here's your question. Since fruit flies are attracted to fermenting fruit, they are also known as these kinds of flies, the V initialed substance that results from fermentation and goes by the name also of acetic acid. What is that V word, Kenmore? Vinegar. Vinegar. They are vinegar flies. Yes, indeed. Because yeah, wine can ferment. If you leave it too long, it turns into vinegar. All right. That's two in a row. Go again. Um, body systems for 10. Body systems, 10 points. It's said that some people can sense things, like the approach of rain, by referring to these body parts, which are made of osteocytes. They might say, I can feel it in my what? I can feel it in my what, Kenmore? Bones. I can feel it in my bones, yeah. I can feel that that rain's coming. My lumbago is hurting again. There goes my knee. Go again, green. Faster um, on the buzzer there, Rowan. Okay, go. 
Let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. I have a picture for you. Look at the monitor. This is a visual question. Let's get physical for 10 points. You're looking at the famous La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles. They were created when this crude hydrocarbon started collecting above the Earth's surface. Crude Kenmore. Oil. Oil. Crude oil. Absolutely right. Hydrocarbon. Tar is a hydrocarbon, as is the oil. Go again. Green. Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10. I know you know this one. The drought in the western part of the United States is the result of a weather pattern whose name in Spanish means little girl. And more. Chica or Nina? I don't know. Nina? Yeah. Nina? Nina, we will take that. Yes, La Nina. The opposite being El Nino, which means the little boy. Yes, good. Green. Green things for 10. Green things. 10 points. Despite its name, the grain buckwheat doesn't have any wheat in it and is thus free of this protein in wheat that many people are allergic to. Rowan. Gluten. What? Gluten. Gluten. Gluten is right. Thank you, Marcus, for your assist on that. Now you're rolling. Go red. Uh, Biosystem 15. What? Biosystem 15. Yes, sir. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the deltoid muscle that covers your shoulder is so named because it is this geometric shape. And more. Triangle? A triangle, yes, a triangle. That's why they call it Delta Airlines. Also, you see a triangle there. Go, green. Zooprade for 10. Zooprade, 10 points. Animals on land can't get too big because it takes too much food to satisfy them, and because they have to get rid of a lot of this, as elephants do by flapping their very, yes, heat. Kenmore. Heat? Yeah, they flap their, way, their ears to get rid of that excess heat. Perfect, thank you, Steve. Go, green. Science potpourri for 15. Again, please. Science potpourri for potpourri 15. Potpourri for 15 points, here's your question. Before the fever and the pustules of monkeypox appear, the virus can be inside your body going through a process, the same process that describes what an egg goes through if you keep it warm in a box to hatch it. Kenmore. Incubation? Incubation, yes. That virus is incubating in your body before those symptoms appear. Yeah, diabolical thing. All right. Score 145 to 60. Green team, it's all you this first half here. Go again. Let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points. Teams, the question, the big hit song from the animated movie Encanto was sung by the super strong Louisa. It has the same name as the atmosphere pushing down on the earth, which is known as surface what? Kenmore. Pressure. Pressure it is, that's right. Yeah, there's pressure to push that buzzer here on the science floor. You've all been doing well. That buzzer means we've come to the end of the first round. Well, the score at the end of the first session here is 60 for Akakik, 160 for Kenmore. We have a lot more questions, but we have some, uh, not some scientific questions, some personal questions. Let's find out about our players. Let's go first to Akakik. You can relax your hands for a few moments there, guys. Take a break. Rowan, tell us a little bit about Akakik. Uh, Miss Adams is your principal down there, and Miss Edmiston is your wonderful coach. Did you have any alternates on your team? Uh, yeah, Seth Woodruff and Nora Raphael. Right. They're an important part of the team, and we'll bring them out and give them some face time on the set at the end of the program here. Uh, tell me something about Akakik, Rowan, that is kind of special. It's a, it's a great school. It's way down south there. Uh, what do you brag about when you tell people you go to Akakik? What's cool about the place? Uh, it's one of the best schools in our region. Yeah, you probably have some great teachers there, some great activities. Uh, uh, I know you're interested possibly in becoming an engineer someday, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so he's a good math student as well. Marcus, also a potential engineer. All three of you guys are, are good math students and science students, that's obvious, and you also uh, uh, all want to be engineers. Marcus, tell us what do you do in your spare time? I'm in my spare time. I read, play games, or draw. Yeah. What kind of books you like? Um, I like fantasy and sci-fi is by far my favorite. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, and uh, readers do so well on this program, and I can tell uh, you've been 
close to getting those questions each and every time. I liked your assist as well. Uh, why'd you want to be on the show? Um, Lillian had emailed me asking me if I wanted to join Science Bowl. I had no idea who she was or what Science Bowl was, so I searched it up, found out what the Science Bowl was, and said, okay, sure. Went through the emails, ended up getting it out, out with my parents, and now I'm here. See? You, you saw something, and it planted an idea, and here you are. You're doing fine, and we wish you well in the second half here. And your last teammate here, Lamont. Lamont, uh, your first time on the show, too. Impressions so far. You glad you came? Yeah, it's fun for now. Like, right now, it's my first time, but I did get on because I want to try something new. Absolutely right, you know, and sometimes, you know, it takes a couple tries, you know, whether it's on science ball or in sports or whatever you're doing, you know, you, sometimes you, if you were perfect the first time you did it, it wouldn't be a challenge. So, but you're playing a good game here. Tell me about yourself. You want to be an engineer. You're obviously good in math. What do you do in your spare time? Are you a reader as well? I, I read, but not as much. I just, the books I use, I just study, but also in my spare time, I like to code and play games. Yeah. Well, you're going to be successful whatever you'd like to do. Um, yeah, the discipline that you have to have to be here is going to carry you through life, and we respect that. Let's go over to Kenmore. Hannah, tell us a little bit, bit about Kenmore. I was saying at the top of the show how many championships you guys have won. What's the secret sauce over there? Um, well, really hard work, studying, and diligence is how you really achieve a lot of things. Um, Kenmore is really cool because um, we have a tag program and an AVID program um, and we just have a lot of programs for a lot of, we have um, a lot of diversity and a lot of different types of people. Um, we also have, we, off, we also offer like ninth grade classes like biogeochemistry, algebra, um, geometry and just a lot of um, accelerated options. Thank you for sharing all that. And of course, you have some wonderful teachers, uh, none better than Miss Novick, who is your coach. And I mean, she is, uh, she is all in when it comes to science ball here. And you have a new principal too. Who is that? Uh, Miss Rebecca Turner. Miss Taylor, and she's a big fan of yours as well. Uh, tell us about yourself, Hannah. Someday you would like to? Um, I want to be a lawyer, but I also more than that, want to be a psychologist because I really like studying the mind. And I think the way that um, our minds think and how um, we um, like, we function is really um, important and interesting. Yeah, we go into outer space and down deep in the ocean, but really the, the biggest mystery is right here inside of our heads. We don't quite know how it all works. Uh, uh, thank you for sharing all that. Good luck in the second half. Isabel, uh, you're interested in medicine. Um, you're not quite sure, OBGYN or some other specialty. How'd you get interested in medicine? Um, both of my parents are in the medical field and uh, I've always been around uh, like medicine and health care and stuff like that. So I just naturally developed an interest in it. That makes total sense. I'm sure they're very proud of you and they're going to encourage you as well. What do you do in your spare time, Isabel? Um, I like reading and watching movies. Watching movies. Yeah, we talked about movies before. Yeah. Stephen, nice to have you back here. You're an engineer, potential engineer, is that yeah. right? Either that or like a programmer. Yeah. Um, You've been on our show here before. Uh, what do you like about Science Bowl? Um, the studying of it and the show itself, like answering questions, is fun. Yeah, well, we're glad you're here. You play it well, too. What do you do in your spare time? Um, play a lot of video games and homework. Yeah, I can tell you do a lot of homework because it shows here today. You guys are all whip smart, all six of you. Let's get back into the game now. Um, I score 60 for Akakik, 160 for Kenmore. Lots of points to give away. All of the toughest questions. Last correct answer came from the green team. So, Hannah, Hannah, let's go. Um, Dateline signs for 15. Dateline, 15 points. Multiple choice. While the late Neil Armstrong is well known as the first man to walk on the moon, the second man to do so is still alive. Is his name Harrison Smith, Michael Collins, or Buzz Aldrin? Ken Moore. Buzz Aldrin? It is Buzz Aldrin, absolutely right. He appeared on the, uh, the Big Bang Theory once, too, as himself. Go again, Green. Uh, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Very interesting, an assassination attempt on President George Washington that involved poisoning these green things that grow in a pod failed. Kenmore. Peas. Peas? Peas, yes, it failed because Washington hated eating his vegetables, just like so many little kids. He would not eat his vegetables. Peas was the right answer. Good, go. Uh, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri, 20 points. A visual picture, visual. Let's look at the monitor in the studio, please. 
looking at this pileated woodpecker, and they live around here, it is easy to see that birds are the descendants of dinosaurs because this woodpecker looks like what flying dinosaur? The, the pterodactyl. 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 Pterodactyl, absolutely right. Marcus, he was ready to put his hand up because he knew that one. Nice work, guys. Let's get some more points. Go red. Yeah. Um, Rowan? Science potpourri for 25. Science potpourri for 25 points. There are plans to build a plane that will replace the Concorde, the SST, that was able to break the sound barrier and flew between Europe and America in just three hours. The T in SST stands for, stands for transport. Akakik? I didn't what you hearing, Rowan? Okay. Lamont, uh, what do you want to say? I'm going to say Lamont. Pass it to Lamont. I don't know. I don't know. You're the one who passed. I thought you pressed. Okay, we're going to go to Kenmore. The T in SST stands for transport. The SS stands for what? Um, it's just Supersonic. Just... Supersonic transport. Breaking the speed of sound. No points. Go again. Red. Rowan, go pick for another question, please. Uh, Zoo parade for 20. Again? Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20. Okay, here's your question. Perhaps the most well known of America's anadromous fish, those that spawn in fresh water, go out to sea to live their lives and then return to the same freshwater streams where they were born, is this fish. Kenmore. Salmon. Salmon. You got it. Thank you, Isabel. Yeah, that's a lesson in elementary school. You study the spawning salmon. All right. Good. Go. Green. Body systems for 20. Body systems, 20 points. This part of your eye can be passed along to a living person if you are registered as an organ donor. And more. Cornea. Yes, you can have a corneal transplant. Uh, probably the most transplanted of any organ in the country. Go again. Um, let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. Since the chemical element iridium is only found in outer space, its discovery in rocks here on Earth was a key piece of evidence that one of these heavenly A initialed bodies, Ken Moore? Asteroids? Yeah, an asteroid brought it here. Evidence that it crashed into the Earth and killed off the dinosaurs. Absolutely. That was the proof. The lawyer, Hannah, the proof that you would be looking for. Go green. Uh, Dateline signs for 20. Dateline, 20 points. Interesting question. Since whale sharks, the world's largest fish, have recently been found to eat plants as well as their normal animals, the shrimp-like krill that they filter from the seawater, those whale sharks are now officially the world's largest what's? Get more. Omnivores. Omnivores, yeah, because yeah, they don't eat just animals, they eat plants too, so yeah, like us, they are omnivores. Go again. Green things for 20. Green things, 20 points. Come on, Akakik, let's get this one. Green things for 20 points. If you go shopping, if you go to the Safeway or the Giant, and you look for milk, a plant-based milk, there are lots of choices. The one that is made from the grain that feeds almost half the people on Earth is this kind of milk. Akaki. Come on, guys. Soy. Soy. Not soy. No, good try. Not soy milk. That is a plant-based milk. The plant-based milk that is made from the grain that feeds over half the people on this Earth is this milk. Rice. Rice milk. Absolutely right. Good comeback. Nice try, guys. Go green. Um, Okay, um, let's science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. This body part is named for a biblical character who ate a forbidden fruit. Name the body part. Kenmore. Adam's apple. The Adam's apple, that's right. The, you guys, you knew that one. I know you knew that one. You just didn't jump on it fast enough. Go again, green. Um, so let, let's get physical for five. Physical for five points. Almost 80 years ago, it was found that the application of this chemical with the symbol F to your teeth. Ken Moore? Fluoride. Fluoride could reduce the cavities, could reduce tooth decay. Absolutely right. Go again. Green things for five. Green things for five points. 
If you hear noise, if you, excuse me, if you hear news from someone who heard it from someone else, some rumor, some gossip, you're said to have heard it through a green thing. Yeah, Rowan? The grapevine. Grapevine. You got it. Marcus was all over that. He knew. I heard it through the grapevine. A famous song. A famous song. Good. Thank you, gentlemen. Go red. I need 25 to come back. Rowan? Uh, green things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in that category, teams. If you put an apple in a brown paper bag with an unripe tomato, it will hasten the ripening of the, of the tomato because the apple produces a gas called ethylene, which is also a kind of this H initial kind of chemical that influences plant growth. Yes, Kenmore. Pasta is Isabel. Isabel. Halogen. Say it again. Halogen. Halogen. No, no. Uh, I'll finish it for Akakik. This ethylene gas produced by the apple that will help to ripen the tomato is a kind of H initial chemical that will influence growth in plants, just as insulin, which is one of these H initial kinds of chemicals, will do in humans. Growth hormone. Growth hormone. Hormone is right, absolutely right. Good, you got the 25 points. That's the good teamwork I wanted to see. All right, you're into the triple digits. Go. Rowan. You can do it. Dateline times for 25. Dateline 25 points, big one in that category. Here we go. It now seems very likely that a market in China was where COVID-19 got its start. What term that also describes where an earthquake starts has been used to describe, yes, Kenmore. Epicenter. Epicenter, yes. Isabel and Stephen both, thank you very much. That is that what they call that marketplace, the epicenter of COVID. Go green. Um, let's get physical for 25. Physical for 25 points. Tough question. Two-part answer. These two planets among the solar system's largest would be almost identically blue in color if one didn't have a hazier atmosphere than the other. Two planets. Two. Talk among yourselves, gentlemen, in case I have to come to you. All right. Two planets among the solar system's largest. Ten more? Oh, but it's among Jupiter, the biggest. Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter and Saturn. Okay. What you got? Jupiter and Saturn? No. Good try. Good try. Akakik, again, two of planets among the solar system's largest would be almost identically blue in color if one didn't have a hazier atmosphere than the other. Jupiter and Uranus. Say it again. Jupiter and Uranus. You got one. Uranus and Neptune. Uranus and Neptune is often pictured as blue, and because of the haze around Uranus, it's hard to see that it too is blue underneath. All right, good try. Both teams, no points. Go green. Um, Dateline signs for five. Dateline for five points. These beloved butterflies, known to migrate from the U.S. to Mexico every year, have just been listed on the endangered species list. Ken Moore. Monarchs. The beautiful monarchs. They're fluttering by right now as we tape in fall. Go green. Two, four questions left. Um, body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Teams, because nitrates in well water can interfere with this red colored chemical in your blood, red blood cells. Ken more. Hemoglobin? You knew that one all on your own, Hannah. It is indeed hemoglobin, yes. So you should never let babies drink well water for the first year of life because uh, it can actually cause them to turn blue. That sound means our game is over. Terrific game today. We are proud of all of our players. Let's go over and look at that score. Akakik has 110 points. Kenmore, 355. Congratulations to the Kenmore team. Terrific game here today. Kenmore, would you be good enough? Hannah, would you tell us who's standing behind you there? Um, so this is our new principal, um, Ms. Turner. This is Elizabeth Tarentang. This is Winter Swan. This is Faith Adewale. And this is our wonderful Colts, Ms. No Colts, Everybody Ms. looks Novik. so happy over there, and you should be. You did a terrific job here today. And Akakik, you should look as happy as you can, even behind those masks. I, know, I can hope you're smiling over there. Rowan, tell us who you brought with you today. Uh, this is Nora Raphael, one of our alternates. This is the other alternate. Uh, Seth Woodruff, and then this is our sponsor, Miss Edmondson. Miss Edmondson, yeah, the one and only, yeah, the wonderful sponsor there. And we thank all of you guys. Nice round of applause for the Akakik team as well. 
And those of you watching at home, you can clap for yourselves too. We're happy you were here. We hope you could answer some of those questions. And I know that you appreciate these young people for the skills that they showed and the poise that they demonstrated here today. They are Prince George's best. We hope to see you the next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Until then, I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye.